this scene. Tremendous buzz in the building here today. A lot of excitement around this college football matchup. But this contest is not a regular matchup. A battle of two top tens. Two forces colliding. One team leaves here, making a resounding statement. As we'll see the number seven team in the country, the Penn State Nittany Lions, taking on the 10th ranked team, the Missouri Tigers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Street. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. the return from inside the five. Stopping at the 22. That's pretty solid coverage there. The Nittany Lions offense is going to get the chance to start this game off. And there comes the star running back onto the field. He is a special talent. You talk to opponents, he's always the focal point when they face this offense. Boy, Chris, this guy is special. It's almost like he floats across the field. I mean, I don't think anyone can take him down in the open field. He's the guy the teams try to key on, but sometimes it feels as though no one can contain him. Hat on a hat up front. Good job opening up the holes. Anytime you can get positive yards on first down, that's a win. Here's the second down play. And now the running back's got it again. The sophomore with a strong tackle there. Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always drawn offensively, but I've been always impressed with the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Sets up as a third and three here on this opening possession. And the Nittany Lions pick up enough yardage to get a fresh set of downs. Boy, an opportunity missed here by this defense. They get him to third down. They load up the line of scrimmage, but they could not deny this back of coming up with that conversion. The Nittany Lions with first and ten here. Going to run it. It's Allen. Has the first down and more. That's a big game deep in enemy territory. Ball down near the 30. Outstanding blocking on the left side of that offensive line. That's really what opened up this play. They did their job, and you can see the results. You burst open and get a big gain on the ground. If I were them, I'd keep going to that side and see how much more success they can have. The Nittany Lions looking to crank up the tempo a bit. To throw, it's Aller. Close to the tight end. Finds a man downfield. That's a big gain to the right. And he's brought down, but there is a flag on the field. Let's check out this call. So the offense chooses to decline the pass interference penalty, and the result of that play will stand. As a design quarterback keeper. Been a decent game there before the defense brings him down. These quarterbacks today in the college game are so athletic. They can beat you with their arm, obviously. But just when you think you have them figured out, they tuck the ball and go. I'd expect this defense to put in a spy to keep this quarterback from running. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. A pop pass on the jet sweep. Nowhere to run. No corral him for no gain. Well, that's one of those plays that works better against certain defensive looks, but not every defense is the same. They were all over that one. Let's see if they continue to attack to the outside on the perimeter to set something up downfield. And they convert here on third down in the red zone. This is a four-point type of play. Touchdown or field goal. Doesn't hold on. Good hit by the DB. Now it brings up fourth down. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could have more. Got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. And out comes the field goal unit. They'll set up for the chip shot on the left hash mark. 
Kick is up and no good. With that miss, no change in the score. Now that's going to go down as an empty possession for this offense. No points as he's off target. Now you can see he's hanging his head. Poor kicker. Here comes the Missouri offense back out on the field. First down here for this offense. Keep it on the ground. There's the handoff. Finds room at the 30. Tackled at the 32. That's enough for a first down. Look, I realize on any play call that is properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. First and ten play coming up. Kibbe decides to keep it here. Not exactly the outcome this offense was hoping for here on the option. I'll give them credit. They didn't lose anything, so it wasn't a negative play. But this kind of play's got to be able to hit big and get down the sidelines for big yards. Second down after that run on the previous play. Dropping back. It's Cook. Signs with quick throw. Tackled quickly after the catch. She'll be short of the marker. The slant may look like an easy play to defend, but it can be really tough, especially against man coverage, without any help to the inside. If you're the offense and you continue to see that man coverage, they might as well just keep attacking just like that. And they pick up the first on the ground. And they'll stop him just short of the marker. Good effort, but the defense holds. Now it's fourth down. Punt team ready to boot it away. Returner decides to fair catch this. And the Nittany Lions offense retakes the field. No doubt the last drive was deflating. They had to settle for a field goal attempt, but missed it. Using his legs, it's Singleton. They'll tackle him right at the 31. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think they're going to run, maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Important second down play coming up. Takes the ball, tries the right side here. Breaks loose at the 45. Finally brought down, but the game moves it to the 44. How about setting the edge there on the right side of that offensive line? I wouldn't be surprised if they keep going back to the well, pounding it behind that right guard and right tackle and tight end, seeing what additional damage they can do. First down and 10 now. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Fires it to the wideout. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. Tackle is finally made, but not before a big game. They'll spot it at the 24. Chris, how about the offensive balance these last couple plays we're seeing from these guys? Not only are they balanced, but the explosiveness. A big run followed up by a big play through the air, and it puts a lot of pressure on this defense. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. Looking to throw. It's Allen. And the senior making a disruptive impact play. That's a really nice job of bouncing back by this defense after giving up that big gain. This time they get the pressure and bring that quarterback down. Sets up second down. Pre-snap motion from the offense. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. Breaks. Aiming for the end zone. Touchdown. Penn State setting the tone early on offense. Simple throw. All the yards after the catch. Explosive play by the receiver to score. Just a dynamic, athletic playmaker. As simple as you said, Chris, just throw him the football. He makes a catch. 
And then all the fireworks are after the catch, and this defense just unable to corral him. Kicking team on now for the extra point. BAT is good. They jump in front, 7-0. The kickoff team on the field now as they get set to send this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. And bulldozing his way through. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the driving start. So the Missouri offense heads back out onto the field. They came up empty on the last possession, forced to punt it away. And they begin to click now. They'll tackle him right at the 25-yard line. Nice solid run here by this back. Did a nice job of just kind of finding that lane, pick up some positive yards there on first and ten. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Back to throw. It's Cook. Makes a quick grab. And he's brought down, but they went backwards after the completion. Good work by the defense. On a wide receiver screen with a corner that tight, you've got to do a good job of blocking him or screening him. Nobody there, and the quick reaction by the corner allows him to make a nice play. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Pass complete on the crosser. It'll be enough for a first down, brought down at the 43. And Kirk, it's Penn State on top as we break for the quarter. Let's check out the stats now through the opening period. They've flipped ends of the field. We're ready now for the second period. Missouri getting set with a first and ten coming up. They'll run it here. A gain of two yards. Now it's second down and eight. For the defense coordinator this week, all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Offense getting set. Second down play here. There's the handoff. And he breaks the tackle on the way to a solid game there. It's not a huge game here, but if you add up multiple runs like that throughout the course of a game, by the fourth quarter, you're going to start to see that affect the defense. That run sets up an important third down call for this offense. They'll try to run for the first down. He's brought down, but the game moves the ball to the 39. Just a great play by the running back here, finding his lanes and then exploding through the gap when it opened up. Missouri offense is moving quickly down the field. On the run, it's Carroll. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, they don't block the defensive end who shows some quickness, Kirk, getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback, but he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. Not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented and shows you the physicality he has against the run as well. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. And he's brought down there. What a great slant by the receiver. What I love is the quarterback found the window that he wanted to make the accurate throw. So now it's third and short from the 30. Chance for the defense to make a play here and perhaps force a field goal attempt. Fakes the handoff, looking to throw. Short connection to the tight end here. Game moves the ball to the 21 and a fresh set of downs. 
What a clutch play here by this offense to convert on third down. I know it's still early in this game, but the fact that they dug themselves a hole to convert there and keep this drive alive, they got a new set of downs and a chance to dig into this lead. It was a first and ten play. They're going to run it. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what is an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. Grab down the middle. It's Cooper. They make the tackle, but not before a solid gain on that pass. Well, you could tell the quarterback knew exactly what he wanted to do with the football. He was going to that in route no matter what. He hits it for a nice game. Missouri now operating in the red zone. It's a draw play. He's got some room. Can he get there? And they stop him at the four after an excellent run. I like how the offensive coordinator here is getting pretty creative. Defense is obviously expecting a pass, so he decides to catch him off guard and goes with the draw play. Going to have to be more aware of that going forward. Very efficient on third down, and now it's first down and goal. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. Man, that jet sweep action puts so much pressure on a defense. You get so locked in on that ball, attacking you downhill. But when offenses sprinkle this kind of offense in, it stretches this defense out wide and can create some vertical seams for big plays. Offense facing second and goal. On the ground, trying to power toward the goal line. And he runs it into the end zone. Touchdown, Missouri. So they reach the end zone after a marathon march. How about the execution of that drive, Kirk? Well, I know a lot of times people get excited for the big plays. They're fun to watch. But what's impressive to me is an offense that can put together a long drive and then finally cap it off with a touchdown. That way you don't have to always rely on the big plays. That's a great drive. Here comes the point after attempt. And it's good. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. He'll return it from inside the five. And the returner brought down by the coverage team. And the Penn State offense comes back on the field. He scored a touchdown on the last possession. Let's see if this defense has been able to come up with some adjustments and stop him this time. Eludes a tackle. Hard running there, breaking tackles. Good enough for the first down to the 37. They trust the left side of that offensive line and come up with a huge play on the ground. Yeah, your favorite, Chris, there. The old pin and pull there to the left side. Great blocking on the left side, able to create a great push. Nice crease in the back, found that with the vision, picks up some big yards for that first down. Game moves the ball to the 37, another first down. Dropping back, it's Aller. Quarterback looks to his right and finds his man. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. Well, a wide receiver screen can be hit or miss. Either the receiver finds a nice crease and picks up big yards, or the defense completely negates that. The team speed from the defense here wins that play. That completion makes it second and medium. Back goes in motion now. Let's see how the defense adjusts. Park behind the line. It's Singleton. And they get him down after the completion. Well, the running back that time just kind of sneaks out of the backfield and shows his hands on that nice catch. So now it's third and short from the 43. Can they keep the drive going or perhaps face a tough fourth down decision? Looking for the wideout. Catch made on the right side. That's a big game. 
to get him at the 42, good enough for a first down. We'll take a quick pause before the half as we reach the two-minute warning. Well, this is why this guy's one of the top wide receivers in college football. It's third down. The defense knows you're probably going to go to him, and they still can't stop him from coming down with a big play. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. Delivers from the pocket, complete over the middle. He's brought down quickly. A short gain gets them a few yards closer to the marker. But the timing here between the quarterback and his receiver. Pick up some positive yards, and I continue to be impressed with just the, the chemistry between these two. They'll go hurry up here. Quarterback looking to pass here on second down. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. They make the tackle, but it sets the offense up for a first and goal from the 10. The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and a quarterback makes them pay for it. And the Nittany Lions will line up here on first down and goal. To the air, it's Allen. Pressure is coming. Just gets the pass away, but took a shot that time. Second down and goal. Here's the snap. Looking to throw here. Looking to set up a screen pass here. And he'll run out of bounds after picking up a few yards on the play. Well, the defense is so caught up in this guy running the football on this drive, they forgot to defend him coming out of the backfield. Nice positive play here. They've gotten the ball down to the three-yard line, but now it's third and goal. And the quarterback dropping back. Catch made in the end zone. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. Kirk, they were backed up to start the drive, but some bold play calling, great execution, and they reached the end zone. You know, it's easy to just kind of pull your horns in and get conservative when you're pushed way back close to your own goal line, but not this offense. They came out, showed the confidence that they have in their quarterback, and it paid off. Nice touchdown. So they'll try to add to the lead now with a PAT. PAT makes it a seven-point lead. So the offense gets momentum scoring before halftime. Now the kickoff will see if the defense can get a stop and preserve that momentum. He's going to return it from near the goal line. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. Here comes the Missouri offense back out on the field. They've got a choice here in the final minute. Do they get aggressive, try to cut into this lead, or play it safe at the point toward the second half? A timeout is called to talk strategy late in this close game with halftime approaching. The completion makes it second down. Looking downfield, it's Cook. It's an out route, the catch made. Both area heads out of bounds, but the pickup is good enough to move the chains. First down. Well, they love going to this guy in the slot, don't they? What a mismatch inside. He reels in another one. This guy's automatic. It's a first and 10 play coming up for the offense. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. Receiver makes the grab. And the offense will call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Man-to-man -man coverage. You run the track route. You prefer to get the ball downfield, but the matchup called for at least some positive yards underneath, and he makes a nice throw. Quarterback delivers complete to the right side. They've got it, but that completion good enough for first down yardage. The offense calls time to stop the clock. Missouri getting set for the first and ten now. Off the play fake, looking to throw. He fires it. And it's complete downfield. 
He's taken down, but that's a nice gain. They'll spot the ball now at the 35. Boy, they do a great job here on play action. The linebackers were completely fooled. Two or three steps up into the line of scrimmage, opened up a nice lane behind the backers, between the safeties, for the quarterback to make the read and a good throw downfield. Time ticking away. Time for just one more play before halftime. Here comes a first down pass attempt. And it's incomplete with just one second remaining on the clock. Pretty nice catch here, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, but hands sometimes a little questionable, as we saw here. So just before halftime here, out comes the field goal here. And it's no good. He missed it. And after the miss, still down by seven. That keeps the score Penn State 14, Missouri 7. Miller's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it now to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Gentlemen, what else is new? A spirited environment there in Columbia. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. For now, let's get back to the guys in the booth to start up this second half. The Nittany Lions will kick it deep to begin the second half. Return starts from inside the five. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's a good coverage there. So the Missouri offense heads back out onto the field. And they'll start the third quarter here on the ground. They stop him right at the 24. Nice job here of controlling the line of scrimmage by this offensive line. The back does what he needs to do to get positive yards on first down. A game makes it second and medium. Gonna run it. It's Carroll. The junior able to bring him down quickly. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. Offense looking to convert on third and short from the 27. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Makes the catch. It's Burden. That gain is good enough for a first down. Ball spotted at the 42. This is a big conversion by this offense. They're down now in the second half. Probably limited opportunities at this point in the game. Every chance you get your hands on the ball, you need points. They keep this drive alive right here. See what the call is on first and ten. They'll hand it off. As the first down is still going. They make the stop, but not before a solid game that time. Well, this is exactly where you find out what you're made of as a team. When you're trailing, coming out of the half, how do you respond? Well, we know how this running back's going to respond. What a statement to get this second half started. This Missouri offense is moving quickly down the field. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. Let's it go quickly. And he's got it. An explosive play. They'll finally make the tackle down to the 27-yard line. One thing we know for sure, I don't know as a play caller, you can make that call without a quarterback who can throw it with a big arm. He put that on a rope. The drive stays alive with that first down completion. off to the back and the player is down injured after that last play we'll take a timeout while they check him out second down after that run on the previous play Here 
And now the running back's got it again. Defense stops him, but that's a solid game. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and it's a nice, solid game. Offense looking to keep this drive going into the red zone. It's third down and short. Dropping back. It's Cook. Gets made on the out route. And the runner steps out of bounds, but does have enough yardage to pick up the first down. Really good job here of converting by this offense. And let's face it, at this point in the game, because they have such a big hole to climb out of, they've got to be able to convert and come up with a new set of downs. They do it here. Now they got a real shot to cut into this lead. Off the play fake on first down. The pocket breaking down. And the junior gets home making a sack there. Now the offense tried to go play action there, but how about the big man in the middle? This defensive tackle showing you he's athletic as well. Gets to the quarterback, comes up with a big sack. Second and long for this offense after the sack. Off play action, he's looking to throw. That's caught. It's burdened. And they bring him down. That's a very solid game, but still well short of the mark. Quick, really nice throw here to the slot receiver, and I love the quickness that he has after the catch. He's essentially a running back playing at that slot position. That's how dangerous he is after he makes a catch. No run it with the draw. Throw. Couldn't quite get in. Tackle down at the two-yard line. Excellent run. You know, even though that these guys are facing a deficit, they're not just going all through the air. Love the fact that you're running the football, keeping this defense honest, not panicking by just throwing every single down. Now you get a new set of downs and a chance to keep moving the ball down the field. They'll try to run this one in. Fights his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers! We're starting to kind of see a theme here, Chris, today. That's his second touchdown. The offensive line doing their job, and he's doing an outstanding job of just reading the defense, finding the hole, and being able to pick up big yards and touchdowns. They'll set up for the PAT. The PAT is up and good, so we're tied up here in the third quarter. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. Fields it just outside the goal line. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Penn State offense is back out on the field. Remember last time they scored a touchdown. Can they keep clicking here? Or will the defense come up with a stop? A pop pass on the jet sweep. Stop right there at the line. No game. This is a great job of being prepared by this defense. Almost anticipating this play. They're in position to bring him down for a loss. Second down play coming up. Looking to throw. It's Allen. Receiver makes the catch. Defense wraps him up after the catch, but he's just short of a first down. Well, they knew all week that they would have an opportunity to face a lot of man coverage and a lot of blitzing today. And one way that they felt they could counter that, getting the ball out of the quarterback's hands quickly, and especially on the quick slants for big games. Quick throw by the quarterback off the RPO. Brought down, but it's past the line to gain. Hey, I don't blame the defense here at all, Chris, for bringing the blitz. It's third down and short. You got to get pressure on the quarterback, but you got to tip your cap to this quarterback. I think he was anticipating the blitz, so he's able to get the ball out of his hands quickly and pick up the first down. And Nittany Lions lining up here on first and ten. And the quarterback keeps it here. 
They've got him down out near the 40. Oh, the read option here, and the quarterback keeps him. I thought he was going to get out and maybe take this downfield for big yards. The defense, very fortunate to keep him to a shorter game. Second down after that run on the previous play. Testing the right side here. And this one goes nowhere. Why can't he get back to the line of scrimmage? Well, that's an excellent effort here by this defense, staying in their run fit, stay, holding their own at the line and making the tackle. The offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get anything going there. Crucial third down play right here. Can he get there on the ground? It's a good effort on the run, but the defense stops him just short of the marker. Fourth down now. And the Nittany Lions will bring their punt team onto the field. And the returner is brought down. Here comes the Missouri offense back out on the field. Let's see if they can keep that passing game going. The last position, very efficient, precise. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Man, the defensive coordinator has to be fired up about this play. The thing that he has to love is that his defense and their technique was right on point. They didn't lose their leverage. They stayed with the play and didn't just go after the quarterback. After the loss on first down, it's second and long from the 22. They're going to run it here. And the defense brings it down. They'll run this play from the pistol formation. Let's check out this running back comparison. These guys have been excellent, counting away and seemingly only getting stronger. And let's see how this one unfolds in the final quarter set to get underway. Offense gets set up here. It's third down. Can he make it to the marker? Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. That was that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. He just has great instincts. That time, the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. And at fourth down, they'll punt it away here. And the fair catch signaled for and take it. And the Nittany Lions offense retakes the field. They were forced to punt last time. Can they get this offense going finally? Get some points out of this possession. Gets the first and still running. And a huge game before he's forced out of bounds. Big yards to set up a fresh set of downs. There's nothing more that helps an offense than committing to that running game and popping an explosive run like this on the ground. Keeps the confidence of your offensive lineup. Same with your back. It helps everything else that you're doing as an offense in your rhythm. Now you can come back with some counters, try to take some shots off a of play action, and keep hammering away with that run game. Running game is working. They'll stick with it on first down. And the sophomore able to bring him down quickly. Well, I thought he might shake free there. He's able to break one tackle, but give credit to the secondary. Good job of coming up and run support. Second down play coming up for this offense. And from the shotgun, an inside handoff. And they'll stop him after a short game. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups. And the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example. The defense has the ability to play wide but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. A change of direction. Take it down, but not before he makes the first down. Chris, what I love here is just the vision by the running back. 
showing great patience. The hole opens up, and then he's able to use his speed to pick up some good yards. The Nittany Lions are moving quickly down the field. From inside the red zone, they're looking to throw. And it's incomplete. He just missed his target, overthrowing it. Offense getting set. It's second down. Caught in the backfield. It's Wallace. And the defense swarms not much of a gain on that completion. Well, any time an offensive coordinator calls a wide receiver screen, he's trying to get offensive linemen out in front of the receiver to create a wall so that receiver can pick a lane to run through. How about the defense here, though? That's called team pursuit and swarming to the football. They didn't give him any lanes, so not much yards downfield for the receiver. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Defense stops him short of the marker. So now it's fourth down. Well, here we are now on fourth down, Chris. And at this point in the game, a field goal gives you the lead. I don't think you roll the dice. I think you kick the field goal, you take the lead, and then you rely on your defense to be able to win this game. So on fourth down, here comes a crucial field goal attempt. And it's good. And with that, they retake the lead. Well, you talk about a clutch kick. Good job by the snapper and the holder. The kicker gives them the lead. But remember, this one is certainly a long way from being over here in the fourth. So after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. Fields it inside the five-yard line. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. So the Missouri offense heads back out onto the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? Oh, and he got the first down, but looking for more yardage. They bring him down, but the drive has now reached the 35. You know, everybody always wants to talk about quarterbacks today and receivers. And don't get me wrong, that's a big part of the evolution of the game and where we are. But, man, for me, as a fan, when I'm watching a game, there's just something satisfying about the teams and the offenses that still have backs that can carry the ball and come up with plays like that. Move those sticks and keep this drive going. And the defense smothers him for no gain. That back just had nowhere to go. Got to give credit to the defense and their run fits on that play. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Trying to flex the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. And the defense able to hold him there to a short gain. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Dropping back. It's Cook. The pass rush closing in. Ball lands harmlessly out of bounds, but at least he avoided the sack here. That was important. Well, he just threw it away here, Chris, and it's not the worst decision. You'd wish he'd find a guy open to give him a chance for this offense to convert, but at least they have some room now to work if they want to bring the punter out. And the punt team now on to kick it away. Looking to flip the field here. And the return man decides to signal fair catch. And the Penn State offense comes back on the field. Last time out, they moved the ball well, but had to settle for a chip shot field goal. Caught over the middle. It's Fleming. They bring him down, but he makes the three-yard line. That's a solid game. But how about this aggressive approach by this offense? They've got the lead in the fourth quarter, and these guys are continuing to throw the football. I think the offense coordinator understands that he can't allow his team to get too comfortable or complacent, even with having a lead here in the fourth. Oh, 
Handoff as you try to work the clock here. Nice run. He's brought down to the 44. Boy, is this guy fun to watch or what? Here we are in the fourth quarter. I'm critical down in distances. And this guy just churning out yards the way he has most of this game. Showing a lot of physicality and natural running instincts in space. Second down here. Time for one more play before the two-minute warning. So the clock stops as we head into the final two minutes of play here. This defense needing to step up and make a play now. Second down after that previous play. Looking for some space. It's Singleton. And he's brought down, but he does have enough for the first down. And now a timeout taken by the defense trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. The Nittany Lions getting set on first and ten. Ball handed off. Defense gets him down, but they'll take the gain on that play. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. Second down after that run on the previous play. Hand off to the single back. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. And now a timeout taken by the defense, trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. Solid gain in the running play. Third down now. Try and muscle for the first down. Great cut there. Moves the football to the 30. Good enough for a first down. Boy, this guy just keeps playing good football. He's like a bowling ball out there. Gets low pad support, running over top of defenders. Just a gritty runner. And a big part of the reason they're enjoying this lead here in the fourth quarter. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. And it's a kneel down. Oh, man, there's nothing like taking a knee on the road to run out the clock and take home a victory. Because you know, they've been hearing it all game long from these fans on the road. This time, they get to go home with a W.